even like early. It's like nine something. I woke up at eight. Well, I have an alarm that always goes off at eight. Didn't get up. I woke up again. Didn't get up. So this is like my third time waking up. And I actually should probably get up. So I didn't know this was like a thing with if you use um, panoxyl that you're supposed to leave it on your face. Like I've literally like this is probably like my fourth time buying it, um, like repurchasing it, and I didn't know it up until this purchase <laughs> that you're supposed to leave it on your face. Like you don't wash it like a normal face wash. So um, it's actually really been working now that I've been using it correctly like my skin has never been better but um so I normally brush my teeth while this is like setting in and then I wash up yes I have a skin fridge yes I actually unironically love it like I'm sorry but it's just, it's the best thing ever, so hate on me all you want, but I have a fucking skin fridge and I love it, so. I know it's so extra though. My mom got it for me though, and I, uh, like, I was gonna say I don't know what I would do without it, but that's like such bullshit. Like, I have lived my whole life without it, but it has been, like, very useful if you have, um, I don't have one, but if you have an ice roller, you could obviously keep it in there. I mean, duh. Like, what? Yeah. Well, no, because it's not freezer. Okay, so just take back everything I said. Um, but if you have like a gua sha or like a face roller, it's really nice. somewhere on like tiktok or instagram that if you want to like set a good intention for your day um you can like speak your intentions into your tea or like whatever you're drinking well i don't think with coffee but like with like water or tea or whatever in the morning and you're supposed to use your stir and stir clockwise as you're saying your affirmations um, or your intentions, but you could just say your affirmations. I don't know why more people don't know about this, or maybe they do, but like, speak your affirmations into your water. Like, water literally has the ability to hold memory. If you speak affirmations into your water or whatever, like, it will carry that, and then when you digest it, you will be digesting the affirmations. So... Do with that what you will. Um, I like wrote somewhere a list of affirmations that I try to say 
every morning when I remember to but usually like when I make tea I just like think of it and it just like associate it just associates oh my god it just associates or I associate affirmations with tea so now whenever I make tea it's like that like Freudian or I mean Pavlov test with the dog where you salivate and like you know you get the drill um anyways you should definitely do that um it will definitely make your day 10 times better you will be setting yourself up for a good day um and you'll have some yummy tea so oh that's hot while that sits i'm gonna show you what i've been doing every morning it's been like a part of like my morning ritual i have this astrology planner and it's um it obviously is about astrology and stuff but it's like a normal planner and it has like your week set up and in each day or actually at the beginning of each week it says weekly intentions and priorities and then in each day there's the daily intentions your top priorities there's just like a box that's like today and then daily gratitude um, i find this better than just like a normal planner but i do have something separate for like school when i actually have to like write down like to-do lists and stuff i have to think of my weekly intentions since today's monday oh today i have my first day of school weekly intentions Okay, so since school starts this week, I'm gonna say, like, stay on top of schoolwork. I don't know. It's just, like, syllabus week, but at the same time, most of my classes are asynchronous, so I'm probably just gonna have to, like, s just start on whatever. My daily intentions are actually sometimes, like, at the very beginning, there was, like, a template, and the template said, like, I feel dot dot dot, so like i think that's what she was intending for what you put for your daily intentions so i'm just gonna use that today because i don't know what else to put so i'm gonna say my daily intentions are i feel happy <laughs> that sounds depressing but i've been in a little bit of a funk recently so that's that's where we're at so top priorities go to class daily gratitude i'm grateful for a roof over my head let's check in on my tea she's still hot but it's bearable i think i'm gonna read for a little bit while i have my tea i don't really eat first thing in the morning i know some people do but my body just isn't built like that like i can't just eat first thing in the morning and obviously i've been up for a little bit but i still just don't really have an appetite so i'm gonna drink my tea and then do breakfast but i want to show you the book i'm reading this is my little reading chair it's actually not i don't use it just for reading I randomly have this chair here because my mom was redecorating and didn't know where to put this so I took it because it has always been my favorite chair ever since I was little. It like reclines. Can you even see it? There's this blanket. Okay, you know what? Can you see it in the mirror? Yeah, okay. It like reclines and it's just cozy. Anyways, this is the book I'm reading right now. If you haven't read this, please go buy this because it's just like consumed my life ever since i've gotten it and like that's partially because it's literally like 800 pages it's literally the best book i've ever read like i can confidently say that and i guess i'm not like the best person to like i don't know i've only really gotten back into reading this past year you will cry even if you're not a crier you will cry because i'm not a crier but i was back in my room made some
and breakfast. I made these muffins two nights ago. I just heated one of them up. It's like a banana, banana muffin. And then I made a smoothie. Looks really gross because of the color, but it's like mango, strawberry, blueberry, banana, some supplements, and oat milk. Sorry, if you can't tell, I'm in a really bad mood right now. As I said earlier, I'm in a bit of a rut right now. I don't even know what I would call it because it's like there's nothing to blame. So it's like not caused by anything, but it's like everything at the same time. Honestly, like I have nothing else to blame it on besides Mercury be Mercury being in retrograde and I know that's such a like a like a broken record thing, but like truly I feel like it affects me more cuz I'm a Gemini rising and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, so basically I'm ruled by Mercury. To my astrology girlies out there, you get it, but like it just it literally it seriously affects me so much like i just life just feels so heavy and little things trigger me so <laughs> i'm gonna journal because that's like one of the only things that will help me get out of this or not even get out of it but just like make sense of things and maybe i'll meditate i don't know sometimes it's hard for me to like actually be present like it's like i dissociate even when i'm meditating is that like a normal thing does anyone else have that issue okay so little update it's around one right now i have class at 2 30 um i meditated for a little bit and kind of took like a nap i don't know i just kind of like laid there and it kind of helped because i'm in a better mood anyways i'm gonna make lunch right now because like i said i have class at 2 30 and it goes until 5 20 so um it's only because i have it once a week so it's like longer i'm gonna make some ramen because that's what i'm craving i'm gonna make that because that sounds really good and comforting so come on okay i don't know if this is enough to hold me over until five but all right thankfully that class didn't last until 5 20 but then again, it was the first class of the semester, so it was just like syllabus stuff and like the first chapter and whatever. Um, that was the only class I had today, so now I'm just kind of um, like checking in on all of my like asynchronous classes and like reading through all of them. If you don't, if you have a lot of online classes or just if you have classes in general, like it's helpful no matter what, and you don't have a notion which is a website, Notion, it's literally a lifesaver. Um, it's just like so helpful to organize your stuff. And um, it's this website that's kind of like a blog type thing. Like you have your own Notion and it is very helpful just for like productivity. I'll show you mine because I found this template that this girl, I found it on TikTok. I don't know who made it, but she made it like accessible for other people to download anyways i'll show it okay so i customized it a little bit but this is basically what it is and like you have your schedule so like that and then to-do list monthly overview i don't really use this um because i don't think you can or maybe you can put stuff anyways um and then each of these you can click on these are all my classes so like for example i can click on that and then it's just a literal lifesaver and so i've just been like going through each of my classes and like putting in all of my stuff so it is the end of the day i already had dinner and everything with my family i'm gonna make it easy for myself and like start on a couple things they're like really easy stuff it's like just like introduction forum posts and whatever 
Um, so it's not that big of a deal, but I do want to get them done. So that's what I'm going to do. But first I'm going to do my skincare routine. Um, it's pretty much the same thing I do in the morning, even though I didn't even show what products I use or anything, but it's like nothing special. It's just like cleanser, moisturizer, serum, sometimes a face mask, sometimes not. Um, that's only like really on the weekends when I'm like really like into the skincare vibe. Yeah, so let's do our skincare routine. I regret not buying this in a bigger size because I wanted it to be like a baby tee but now I literally can't wear it to bed like I could but like it's just like tiny anyways I might change but I'm doing a forum right now it's like a little introduction for one of my classes um I have my tea I became a tea girl. I used to not really be like a beverage person. <laughs> like, does that make sense? Like, I used to like never really drink anything besides water. Like, mm, that's not true. I recently started drinking coffee and tea and my life has become so much better. Like you romanticize your life when you drink beverages. So here's my green tea and my cute little mug. It's from Anthropology. All right, I gotta do this. Maybe I'll do another assignment. And then it's only like eight. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do after that. Probably like read or something. I don't know. I deleted my social media. I'm just kind of like doing it for my own mental health because I just need to distance myself from like so much media and like phone consumption. Anyways check back in before going to bed yeah i think i'm gonna just like get ready to go to bed because i'm honestly exhausted like i don't know if it's because school started because i like haven't been using social media so i've like actually have to been like doing stuff i think i'm gonna read and then go to bed and i wanted to make this like a weekly video but i filmed enough for one video so i don't want it to make it like that much longer but i kind of want to like post on a weekly basis like i know i'm not like a youtuber but like i don't really give a fuck i just like making videos i have a lot of video ideas in mind that i want to try out and i really want to get good at editing and just like making good videos I guess I'll see you on the flip side in another video.